Hi, everyone. It's Tara here with the Academy of Being. And today I want to talk to you about the secret sauce of manifesting. And I get really excited about this because this is how you really create the life that you love living. Okay. So I've been asked this a lot lately. And I really believe a lot of that is because we're moving into the new year. And whenever you're moving into the new year, people start to reevaluate their lives and they start to ask for more and ask to be more. And I think that that is so exciting. Growth is amazing. Amplifying your life and having more is amazing. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. The easiest way to do that, though, is in these really luscious steps. So first of all, I know it might sound really simple and something that you're like, well, duh, but know what you want and what having that will do to your life. So spend some time, spend some time. Don't just generalize like I want more money. Well, what would more money do for your life? Okay. And if you're saying like, maybe you're saying I want to travel. Well, who do you want to travel with? And how do you want to feel when you're there? Who do you want to be when you're there? How do you want to travel? Do you want to travel by plane, by car? What kinds of people do you want to interact with? Really get into the experience of it because so many people gain more money and then they travel. And while they're there, they don't really enjoy it. Maybe they didn't go where they wanted to go or they're not interacting with other people or other experiences in a way that actually makes them feel like they've experienced the life that they want. So when you know what you want and how you want to be or what you want your life to look like having it, you're actually looking at changing your whole experience. And the experience is what really touches us. So when you go in and you ask what you want, maybe just ask how you how do you want to experience that? What would it be like and how would it touch your life? Okay, so that's number one. Number one is getting clear on what you want and the feelings and the experience of having it. Number two is say it out loud. This is a powerful step to take. So I mean, say it out loud to yourself, say it out loud to the universe, but also say it out loud in talking to other people. You don't need to let other people know all the ins and outs of what you're looking to manifest. But when you start talking about what you're already manifesting, it means that you, all of the cells in your body is hearing that, right? They're all hearing that. And then also the people around you are hearing that. The universe is hearing that. And it starts to change what starts to attract to you. Because instead of talking about problems all the time or wants, you're talking about the things that have already occurred in your life. You're celebrating that. And then you're saying, and I'm looking for more. I'm so excited about it. I'm curious how it's going to show up. So the energy of curiosity as you're saying it out loud. But again, going back to when you say it out loud, all the cells in your body get on board. They're like, okay, we're looking for this. It tells your brain to look out for this thing or this experience or the energy that you're looking for. And, and then it also says to the universe, hey, conspire in my favor. Go out. You have access to everything. So whatever you've got to do to shift and move things and bring people into my life that allow this to happen with the most ease, I'm excited about that. So say it out loud as many times as you can. And then... Number three is acknowledge, acknowledge how it already exists in your life, okay? So you might be looking for love or money or travel or a better job. So look at like, let's say your job. Look at what aspects of your job that you love. Even if you want to move jobs, even if you want more money or a different boss, look at what you love about your job. And use that as a foundation or a springboard in order to say, yes, more of this and these other things. Because when we feel like we don't have anything to create with, it makes it makes us feel like 
it's impossible because there's not any ingredients. Now you might even find that the ingredients aren't actually in your life, but you're seeing them in other people's lives and you're seeing them in other people's lives. And you might even be experiencing a bit of jealousy. What I would see, say to you is jealousy is a really powerful emotion if you use it for yourself. Part of it is a little bit of a lie. So when we like hang in jealousy, what it's saying is somebody else has something that I would like to have, but I can't have it, which that is the lie. If you look at it and you go, oh my gosh, what the universe has done is it's brought that into my life to say to me, it absolutely exists in the physical now, what would it be like to have it in your way, right? Because most likely you don't want it exactly like they have. How, what would it look like in your way? And then, hey, universe, how can we create that? It's the willingness to be curious and say, oh my gosh, that is something I never knew that I wanted. Now I know I want it. So how can I inspire with the universe to bring it into my life? Whether it's a new job, a new love, friendships, whatever it is, greater trust in yourself, a greater relationship with yourself. You might see somebody in your life who has a really great se sense of confidence and they really embody who they are. You might say, I want that. And that just seems impossible. It's not. As soon as you're willing to ask the question, right? As soon as you're willing to be curious and ask the question, and acknowledge that maybe you already have a little bit of that relationship with yourself and you're going to build upon that. You're going to spring off of that place. So number four is enjoy what it is and allow it to snowball. So again, kind of going back to what we just said, enjoy what's already in your life, like really enjoy it. So if you only have 10% of where you want to be, enjoy that 10% and then ask for it to snowball. I say, so I say to people sometimes like allow it to be a virus that like infiltrates everything, right? Cause you know, we're, we've been in this COVID world and then respiratory world where like things are just spreading like a virus. Well, really good things can spread like a virus too, especially if you ask them to that energy of asking is really powerful. So allow it to snowball. And then number five is create an intimate relationship with the universe. This is not to be put to the side. This is a really powerful thing. And how you create an intimate relationship with the universe is to have really good communication. So most of us are pretty good at asking, right? So this is what I want. This is what I want. Well, the other pieces of communication are listening and then appreciation and acknowledgement, okay? So the listening piece so is actually listening. It's paying attention. And I had a recent client say to me, but the universe doesn't talk back to you. And I was like, oh my gosh, it is talking to us all the time. One of the greatest ways to know how the universe is talking to you is to listen, not to your thoughts, but to listen to your sensations and your feelings and then what is and isn't showing up. So sensations, feelings, and what it is and isn't showing up. Okay. You know, do the other steps first, because if you're not asking, if you're not getting clear, if you're not um, acknowledging what is, it's really hard to pay attention to the rest. So your emotions, your emotions are going to tell you whether you're walking into a brick wall or you, you are walking through open doors. Okay. So if you walk into a brick door, brick door, it could be a brick door. <laughs> if you're walking into a brick wall and you feel like you're getting nowhere, take a step back and ask where the opening is, where the doorway is, where the window is, where there's free space, where there's no wall, whatever it is, ask where there's an opening. Because sometimes when people get into like visualizing, they get so clear on what they want and it's, this is how it has to look, that they're not actually tuned into the universe and how the universe is delivering it. Many times it shows up different than how you expect it to look. But that doesn't mean it's not 
equal to or better than what you were asking for. So we need to really tune into what's already there, really tune into our emotions and sensations. So sensations might be that you get um, goosebumps when you hear about somebody else's job. You might get goosebumps when you walk into a place and you you come close to somebody and you're like, wait a minute, what is that energy? You might also get like your body shuts down, right? Your body is, so your body is shutting down and your body is saying, this is a no. I need to move away from this brick wall, right? Or you get goosebumps or you get, so sometimes people get nauseous too. So I call this a bubble up energy. Nauseous is, for those of you who like roller, roller coasters, nauseous is like when you're going on a roller coaster and everything's like percolating up, but you're so excited. Sometimes we can think that nausea is like, that's a no, we just hit a brick, brick wall. But I would ask you the question, like, does this feel like you're being oppressed? You're pushed down? Or does this feel like everything is coming up, but it's a little bit scary that I would lean into. And I would ask the universe to support you. So the last piece, so we were talking about talking to the universe, asking, we were talking about listening. And then the last piece, which is um, appreciation. Appreciation is also talking or celebrating the universe for what is showing up. Thank you so much. Or it might even be saying, no more of that. Please don't bring any more of that. But then the onus also goes on you. Don't pick up what the universe is putting down. Okay. Sometimes the universe brings what you kept putting up before. It's not a test. It's just, you know, she or he might be asking for this, but every single time I bring this that they're asking for, they don't pick it up. So I'm going to continue to bring the thing that they, they seem to always want because that's what they're picking up. Um, and really there's a fourth piece to that, that I'm so sorry that I missed when I was thinking about this originally, it's really paying attention to that piece of what is showing up and what isn't. Okay. So pay attention to that and then tap back into your feelings and sensations on whether that's a brick wall or an open doorway, whether it makes you feel good. Like this, this aligns with what I was asking for. This really makes me feel like I can breathe in the space of it. It gives me that sense that the experience and connecting with this, this job, this love, this, this money um, will actually open up my life because I'm sure we've all been there too, where something like that shows up in your life, whether it's money, love, or um, a new job or something else. Right. And you just feel impending doom, or you feel like you need to get smaller in its space. Well, that's definitely a no. It may look exactly what like what you asked for, but if it doesn't feel as an experience, like something that is going to open up your life and give you more space to breathe and more space to expand, it's enough, right? So really be paying attention to what's showing up and what's not, and then also how you're showing up with it. So I can't wait to hear what you're looking to manifest in the new year and how it's working using this magic sauce and all the ingredients that I just gave you. I hope you have an awesome end to this year and an incredible start to the next year. And let's expand together in community and in conversation and share whatever you like below. If you like these videos, please let me know what else you're looking for. You can comment on that below, but like and subscribe, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Thanks so much. Bye.